Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Elden Ring Shadow of the Erdry. Here we are in Commander Gaius's arena. Now, one quick note about Commander Gaius, and then we're going to move right along. Commander Gaius was updated in the most recent patch, 1.12.3. From what I understand, after you've died to Commander Gaius, he would then start somewhere along, around the middle of the arena, or maybe actually even closer to the entrance. The same with the Golden Hippopotamus that we fought at the beginning of Shadow Keep. So if you died and didn't kill him the first try, which, you know, not too uh, many people did, then it made the upcoming fights more difficult because they were a lot closer and they would start engaging in battle very, very quickly. And so they have corrected that to put them back at their original starting locations at the beginning of every attempt. That's, according to the patch notes, all that changed. And yes, I am addressing this because there have been some uh, talks that Commander Gaius was nerfed and I fought a much more watered down version. Now, I do not believe that to be true based on the notes or the patch notes that I've read as well as just kind of the community discussing it at large. However, I just wanted to make sure that that uh, that was known to me that that was at least some comments on the video. Now, moving on. I am trying out Commander Gaius's weapon, the Sword Lance. I found something to be really interesting about his remembrance, though. And I could be wrong, but is his remembrance the only one that yields a weapon that is not considered upgradable with Somber Stones and infusible with different Ashes of War? I can't think of another example, and it, I didn't actually go in and look, but I can't think off the top of my head of another example. But yes, you can see, I have this upgraded to plus 24, and even though I kept the Ash of War, the Spinning Gravity Thrust, I have infused it with Sacred. Interesting. Now, I also have the Death Knight Helm, Mesmer's Armor, and then the Iron River Gauntlets and Greaves. Currently, Sacred Scorpion Charm, Spear Talisman, Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman, and Shard of Alexander for my talismans. Now couple of things to address we're gonna go this way because well I don't really know where this is leading me but it'll be interesting however regarding this room right here this room has a statue of America with her head removed and there is a message that says have mercy for the spirited away shamans now I was told in a comment that I need to read the description of the tooth whip as well as talk to the ghost again by the Whipping Hut to understand what I need to do. So, I read the Tooth Whip, and it does mention shamans. As the wounds ripen, they grow inflamed and ooze pus. The flesh of shamans was said to meld harmoniously with others. All right. Fair enough. Then, when I talk to the ghost, and I'm not going to run back there just because it's it's a little bit out of the way, but when I talk to the ghost at the Whipping Hut, the ghost was talking about how the, basically to, to stop groveling, okay, and just do what you're supposed to do. You were born, this is in reference to shamans, your lot in life is essentially to meld with others, to be stuffed into the jars. So... How that helps me understand what I'm supposed to do in front of that Statue of America. Although, I'll be honest, I do have a sneaking suspicion. And the comment pretty much outrightly uh, told me to do it. So, I'm not going to hide that. I don't know how that helps me understand what I should do. So, the solution to that puzzle, and I don't actually know what happens, is apparently to use a gesture in front of that statue. And the gesture that I believe it is... Oh... Is that an archer riding a wolf? Because it looks like an archer riding a wolf. But it should be the oh mother gesture, which is funny because I actually tried to use that in front of the Statue of America in Mesmer's arena because he referenced mother multiple times and there was all sorts of things around there referencing her as mother. And it was an intact statue, so I thought, hey, this must be what I do here. But turns out I was wrong. It turns out it's this particular statue. Why are we fighting these again? 
I don't know, but let's see what we can do with spinning gravity thrust. Ready, set. Oh, we got a two-hand it. Never mind. Good. Okay, not bad damage. Actually, not bad damage at all. Well, stop it. Whoa! Oh my goodness. Oh, and the frost, nice. All right, never mind. We'll just play this game, I guess. They're better at this game than I am. So, these archer women riding on top of wolves were guarding Hold on, I gotta remember the name of it. Basically, they're guarding the entrance to the Hallig Tree up in the concentrated snowfields, up in Ordina. So what is one of them doing here? I don't know. I don't know, but tell you what. Probably going to... Why am I not using the Shadow View? Shadow view, side of grace, I don't know. That was probably way too far. Also, I didn't cast, I didn't uh, get my new incantation going. Okay, got that one off, good. Good, thank you, treat. Not enough F. Wow, that is some crazy damage. How is she not getting damaged? So here's here's a little gripe I've had about Elden Ring for some time. When you are riding torrent. Oh my gosh, you just, you can't approach them on horseback. Not well, at least. If you're not already two handing your weapon, you can't two hand it anymore. I don't know why that is. I've never understood it. Oh, what? Huh? Gaius' Greaves? Why do they have Gaius' Greaves? And why do Gaius' Greaves have wheels on them? <laughs> help, help me to understand this. A cruel joke for he could not wear them. Oh. Riding atop the boar he called his other half, Gaius was in fact a warrior of albinoric extraction. Did he not have legs? Did, did he not have legs? Was he Lieutenant Dan? Oh, albinoric shack with the sharp shot talisman. Okay, color me intrigued there. Boost attack power of precision aimed shots. The Albanoric archers were in a class of their own and their deadly long range specialists struck fear into the hearts of men. This would be really fun to actually do a bow build. If, if I'm understanding that correctly, then a precision shot is simply one that you manually aim, which would be really, really fun. He was an Albanoric or Albanoric extraction. Now, story-wise, I should be heading to Rau Village, right? Or the ruins of Rau. Oh, hold on, though. Oh, 
Shadu Shadatru <laughs> Shadatree Chalice. What was being offered up here? Ooh. No way. Okay. That gives me seven. That should be worth at least one. If not two. So what was the chalice for? I guess I should ask what was being put into the chalice. I just got five fragments there. Okay. And it seems like that's all that's here. Despite this very large monument, it's just a pass through. Indeed it is. Okay. All right. So the ruins of Rau, again, are the next from a main story point of view. However, oh, I should probably grab my runes, huh? Again, I want to make it perfectly clear that this was spoiled for me, but I'm going to use that loosely. The person gave me a suggestion and they talked about the gesture and I said, oh, well, I already did that in front of a different America statue. And they told me to read the tooth whip and then go talk to the ghost by the whipping hut and it would make sense. I, I just don't see how. So I'm about to do something that I cannot claim that I figured out on my own. I wish I had, but I also don't know how I would have. Oh, right. Please tell me I can get two blessings. Boy, that would be amazing. I sure can with one left over. Shadow Tree Blessing 16. Have mercy for the spirited away shamans. So my only guess is by saying, oh mother, I am I'm asking America to have mercy on the shamans. Very cool, but please feel free to let me know down in the comments why that worked or how did you figure that out? Oh, another very, very colorful area. I dig it. Okay, I can summon. I also see a mounted enemy. This is Hinterland. That appears to be a tree sentinel. Hmm. You know, I started a thought with the whole torrent on horseback. All right, let's do a quick demonstration. I'm one handing my weapon. I can two-hand my weapon, and vice versa. If I get on Torrent, and I'm sure you all know this, I'm still one-handing the weapon. You can see based on the X that's in the bottom left corner over the uh, the sword lance here. And if I try to two-hand it, I instead switch to my talisman. And it doesn't matter if you try to just do left bumper or right bumper. It's all the same. It's just switching weapons. Okay, however... And this is where it kind of bothers me. That's fine. I, I can deal with that. If I two-hand my weapon, right? So the X goes away because I now have the strength requirement. I get on Torrent. I'm still two-handing. I can still use it. Switch to my Talisman. And now switch back to my Sword Lance. And I'm now back to one-handing it. Therefore, I'm not getting the full damage because I don't meet the stat requirements. That's, that's what I think is a little silly. There should be a way... To make that work. Alright, what kind of damage can I do to you, bear? Whoa, I like that. Oh, the ram just came to his rescue. They were friends. They're all friends. 
They're all having orcs. Lots of, uh, lots of rams here. Not too many ewes. Okay, lots more sunflowers. All facing the shadow tree, which is nice. Dig that little detail. Yeah, I don't care about the bears. As per usual, let's just go ahead and stick to the perimeter. I like that th so far the hinterland just appears to be just a a wild place. There's wildflowers, there's animals that don't, don't seem to be corrupted by anything. So is that really it for this area? Oh, don't forget the poop. Where is... yeah, there he is. So let's take a look at the map. Okay, so this does appear to be leading to this other finger ruin. However, I wouldn't mind going up here. So instead of taking the bridge, I want to go up onto that land map. Ooh, what is... what is that? Huh. I mean, it just looks like a hut, but it's got a a domed ceiling, a domed roof. Alright, taking bets. Is that enemy a tree sentinel? And is that tree sentinel a boss? Or just an unnamed field enemy? Goodness gracious. Were you even the one I was looking for? No, there's another one back there. Oh, well, what is this nonsense? Alright, well, I fought your kind before, but not with a torch. That's new. Well, if I'm gonna... If I'm going to fight you on horseback, I am going to take this off and put on my Lance Talisman. Okay, some good damage. Better damage. That's interesting that you would choose a torch as your offhand. That was silly. Oh, that was slick. Oh, gosh. Still pretty bad at mounted uh, combat, as you can tell. But I guess this will work. Move. Okay. Oh, 
Ooh. It could finish me off. Go. Okay. Now, is that one of two? I don't claim much, uh, much of a prize in that, <laughs> in that fight. Because I'm kind of thinking there's another one right here. This time with the shield. And when I can't summon for you? Do I just have to bring you back here to summon? That seems silly. Or can I not because I killed the other one? You seemingly can only have one. Oh, it's like a Knight Rider. He disappears when you get too far. Well, oh, actually, I don't know if I should do incantations because he's got his special shield. Not to mention he's got some pretty good results. Oh, not to mention that I now have to get off and two-hand. Oh, come on. He missed both of those? Thor needs some sort of dodge. Oh, crud. Okay. I guess you can do that if you wish. This is going to be a bad idea because he's going to block all of them, I would imagine. Or not. He's just not going to take a whole lot of damage from it. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I'm not mad about that. That was good. Well done. Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to take this opportunity. I don't... I don't want to die. Um, hmm. Well, you know what we could do, actually? Be smart about this, right? That's, oh, that hurt. That hurt Torn a lot. Uh, you know what we need to do? Is escape? And we need to get round of raisins on the hot bar. I forgot that I made some. I think I made frozen raisins, too. Where are they? I mean, he should be going away, right? But... Or sweet raisins. That'll work. Okay. Oh. Well, last heal. That was solid. That was good. Time to uh, run away. Feed my horse.
Watch it. That's good. There we go. Okay. Whew. Give me some flasks, would you? Another Blessing America. That's all fine and dandy, but I still don't have flasks. I don't want to go rest. Why don't I want to go rest? It just sounds boring. <laughs> That's my entire justification. So instead, I'll just do a little bit of Blessing of the Erd Tree. Little healing over time. Oh, the shadow tree is just so cool. Oh. It's a whole village here. Shaman village. This is a minor earth tree? Secret incantation of Queen Marika. Only the kindness of gold without order creates a small, illusory earth tree that continuously restores the HP of nearby allies. Marika bathed the village of her home in gold, knowing full well that there was no one to heal. This is... This is where Marika's from? And is it really just a completely desolate village? Whoa. Statue tucked away inside a tree? Golden braid. Boost holy damage negation by the utmost. What was her prayer? Her wish? Her confession? There is no one left to answer, and Merica never return home again. Oh, Queen Merica's offering to the grandmother. Who's the grandmother? What is going on here? I mean, we don't know anything about her parents, do we? The story talks all about her, her kids and her connection with Radigan and the demigods, the Empyreans, but I don't remember any talk about her parents. Oh, there's... That's Rabbit's Rise. Oh, there's a... What's it called? Cathedral of Manus Matter. None of these buildings are occupied. Oh, there's the finger ruins. Hmm. 
I think that's it. We got a new incantation and a new talisman, both trying to make us feel something for Queen Merica. How she left her home and never returned. She also planted the Mina Erd Tree to heal those who weren't here anymore. Was there an affliction? Was there something? Were there people she was trying to save and that's why she broke the Elden Ring? Why is there another one? Do, do they just not stop spawning? Is this a place where you can farm 120,000 runes and a blessing America each and every time? I'm going to I'm going to test that. Where's the side of grace? Oh, right here. If that's the case, and if it actually gets a boss health bar, this would be the only respawning boss in the game. But I'm thinking it's not. Maybe it's just a third one that was patrolling. Yet the weird thing is I don't see one. So we're getting close to the finger ruins, which also means we need to probably reread the note from Emir. Because he sent me to the first one to ring a bell. And yes, I know that there's some flies buzzing around. What are you doing up there, tortoise? Oh, is this the big split in the shadow tree that we saw in the trailer? I do want to go, I don't want to completely bypass that big tree. Also, we might want to prepare some fire for the inevitable finger creepers. What is going on with all the lampreys? So that's where I could have hopped down from Shaman Village. Okay, let's take a look. We've got to find that note. May the gleaming stars guide you evermore. Oh, that's it. Okay. I don't know what's going on with the lampreys. They're all curled up asleep. We're nowhere near St. Trina, though. 
Okay, just to make sure there's nothing else here from dropping down. It doesn't appear to be. I think that's a finger creeper just bugging out. Oh, wow. It's This area is huge. There's a crater over here, though. Why is there a crater? Well, crater's either going to be Radon or a Falling Star Beast. <laughs> oh, and it just started glowing. It's going to be a Falling Star Beast. Mark my words. We fought a couple of them in these types of craters. Guess the question's going to be, what stage is it going to be? All right. Okay. Uh, I am going to go ahead and summon some friends for this. Oh. They're going to wish I hadn't. Get his attention. Thank you, friends. Good damage. But I can hit. How about? Let's try Land of Shadow. Wow, that does good work. That does incredible work. Oh, you're done. Oh, you are done. No, not quite. You guys want to finish him off? <laughs> yes, you do. All right. I'll take that win. <laughs> Gravitational missile. Fires a gravitational projectile that pulls in enemies before finally exploding, charge increases potency, said to have originated in the lightless dark far beyond, the home of the Falling Star Beasts. So the home of the fa Falling Star Beasts is somewhere far beyond. Now, when Emir gave me the map to this ruin, you got to wonder how literal he was being. You know, may the gleaming stars guide you. Should I make sure it's fully dark? I mean, it's evening right now. Fingerstone Hill, nice. Now, the question of all questions ugh, is, will this place be more interesting than the finger ruins of Rhea? Oh, these are still... Oh, I never changed these. Blue, you lovable, forgetful idiot. Your forgetfulness is just save the day <laughs> oh that's that's fantastic and I still don't really have any interest what? there's just so many Ugh. the last finger ruins kind of ruined me for exploring and yet I'm st still gonna be bothered if I don't look around Uh, what just died? Oh, hey. 
How did you... How did my throws completely miss? Good solid kills on the big guys. I don't think a lantern's gonna do a whole lot here, but... Okay, lamp rays on guard over to the left. I appreciate that they're just sleeping. I'm just curious as to why. Finger ruins of day. Something was dragged either up or down. Well, there's a center right there. Should we just go for it? We can explore on the way back if needed. Uh, hello, hitbox? Yes. It's your mother calling. We miss you. I don't know why so much so many things are just dying. And I saw some crafting material. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Blue. 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 Serpentine. Serpentine. Uh, Lamprey teen. I don't know. No, thank you. Trying to quit. There we go. Cool. So this leads up to an interesting area because it actually leaves the ruins. I would like to check this out. Oh, especially because we haven't seen uh, our old friend Spirit Worms in a while. You know what? What just... No! Let go! Oh, uh. go, go, go. Well, that was truly terrible. <laughs> I just wanted to use the Ash of War. But they said very much. Oh, that's a big concentration. What? Oh, don't you tell me there's nothing here. Don't you do it. Don't you tell me there's nothing up here at all. You all exist for a reason. Nothing. Nothing that I can see. Okay. I don't know, maybe there's a lower significance somehow. I, I don't understand what they're for, so therefore I could just be missing something important. I don't know. All right, let's 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 ride into the middle. Let's see if there's a boss this time. Oh, I mean, I can summon again, but then again, I could summon the last one. That meant absolutely nothing.
certainly look like more eggs, though. Is it another bell? So last time we got the Crimson Medallion plus one. Now we got the Cerulean. Do you have some lampreys kind of guarding this back perimeter wall? But again, not... I haven't seen a single item. Not a single one. I mean, these are really great atmospheric areas, but by golly, what are they for other than this NPC quest? Which, I guess I'm going to head back to Emir. We've kind of effectively covered everywhere except Rau. All right, back to the Cathedral of Manus Metter. I told you once. I've no interest, but I must admit, Count Emir did seem very pleased. Perhaps an exception is in order. Oh, yeah. Well, I did summon you, just not for the winning attempt. <laughs> Hello there. I heard another sound, colored by your essence. <laughs> Simply exhilarating, I must say. The stars are dark tonight. But rest assured, this is no ill omen. On the contrary, I believe that this portends a magnificent starry cascade. Now, take this. My final gift to you. May you join the glimmering stars above. Wait, there's a third ruin? Uh, indicates a third and final hallowed ruin distinct from those shown on the first two maps. Is that not the cathedral? It sure looks like it. And the ruins are to the north of it. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, should we talk to Jolin? Emir is a shining star in our eyes. The only star upon the black canvas of the night. Our meeting with the Count taught us of the star-draped sky. We know that we cannot reach out to touch it, but we can peer up at its brilliance and heed its guidance. We will never again lose our way in the night. I have spoken far too freely. Pay me no mind. Let us focus on our shared purpose, our service to Count Emir. You know, speaking of. Oh, yes. I believe I can feel it brewing. This evening is a sign of a greater night to come. Oh. Do you have any new sorceries? <gasps> you do. Leading Microcosm. One of the secret hallowed rites conjures an image of a microcosm at a foe's feet that pulses with a single wave before disappearing in a burst. Charging enhance enhances potency. The broken and discarded are fully willing to cling to fleeting Samalakra. 
earning them some modicum of sympathy. But someone just busted out the the source for this one: microcosm, simulacra, modicum. <laughs> All right. Do you recall what I said? That Marika and the fingers that guided her were unsound from the start. Well, the truth lies deeper still. It is their mother who is damaged and unhinged. The fingers are but unripe children, victims in their own right. We all need a mother, do we not? A new mother, a true mother who will not give birth to further malady. May you join the glimmering stars above. This guy might be cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. All right, what uh, fresh nightmare awaits us just north of the cathedral? Do I just ride out here and the floor collapses? No? <laughs> right? Come on, give me give me a hint there. It seems like it should be right here. Let's do a quick ride around. We already knew about the Remembrance coffin, uh, coffin. Perhaps I should go to the Sun's Grave? Okay, no. Is there a door that I've missed or an elevator I can take? What time is it? it? It's the end of night, so I thought maybe waiting till night would make something appear, but that doesn't seem to be it. <laughs> is there just illusory ground? Do I just need to... Take a look. Seems to be right at the end of the stairs. <laughs> oh. 
I'm checking all the stairs. Hmm. You know, I've talked about the shackle before. And how I don't like using it because it feels kind of exploitative to look for illusory stuff. But I'm wondering if there's... Well, I don't know what I'm wondering anymore. I can't use that key item, right? It's not something I can actually interact with, the, his little whistle thing. Nope. He did say let the glimmering stars. Okay. Maybe I'm going to wait till night again. And see if maybe if I look up in the sky, maybe there's something. As you can see, okay, maybe there are, but still. <laughs> I mean, there are lanterns. Should I follow lanterns? Maybe I'll follow the lanterns. That, okay, so this seems to be the first one. And then I know that there's another one down this path. Okay, is there another one? I don't know why so many things are dying. Did the lanterns end? <laughs> Was that really it? Are you just guiding me to the mansion? That doesn't seem helpful. Was there really no more lanterns? Just loads of marionettes. Oh, here's another one of those really bright glowing areas, though. Probably with a... Nothing, because I had already collected it. Now, I don't think I ever went down this side. Oh, my lantern was on already. Maybe there's a cave on this side. I didn't actually even think to come down here. The other side is where I fought that one furnace visage a long time ago where I actually had to use a spirit spring to throw firebombs in his head. I 
Okay, that's the Recluse's River. Yeah, you all howl away. That's that's okay. What just lit up? Wait, what just lit up and then... Hold on. I hear a scarab. Oh. You know, a weapon that's, you know, supposed to be really good on horseback, really difficult to use on horseback. My goodness. Oh, no. I don't, I don't think this is it, but. Carrying sovereignty, okay. Pretty cool. Transform blade into a magical greatsword and, and bring it down. Additional input follows up with a horizontal sweep. Charge either attack to enhance potency. All right. I mean, that's cool. This, this is not the solution though. And then it ends. Well, there's the whipping hut. Almost looks like there should be something right there, right? But I swear... We're going to have to do a quick ride. You can all skip to the next episode if you'd like, but... Even though I swear I hugged this rock face, I'm going to have to do it again. Unlikely to be any interesting commentary. I am just. I want to figure this out. You now, the one with the America statue. Again, I don't. I don't think that was something I was going to figure out on my own. Maybe I would have. I don't know. I mean, I tried the gesture on one statue. It just so happened to be the wrong one. So the me trying the same thing just in a different area, probably not. Something that would have happened. All right, here's the spirit spring. And of course, nothing. Oh, careful, blue. Just go back the way you came. Okay, lantern. <laughs> lantern. And then no lantern for a while, but then lantern. Okay, so it really is just the path up. Nothing special. Do I need to just do O Mother again? <laughs> well, let's do it, right? He keep he kept talking about how we needed a new mother. No. Boy, oh boy, I just don't know. I 
unless there's just a random all right you know what? i'm gonna pause the video i'm gonna do another couple loops around just to see if maybe there's a hole in the ground or something and then i'll be back to either show you what i found or to uh to wrap up i don't know which or bring you back show you that i died to marionettes also an option so this is different i died I came back here, and Emir's gone. No. And you have nothing to say. Maybe he's... Maybe he's out at the grave? I failed you. Failed to birth you whole. But it won't be long now. I will soon be a mother. I will give you new life. I assure you. You will have life. Please, will you allow the two of us this time alone? It isn't much to us. Please, it isn't... Huh. So what causes him... To move and has he left something behind not here what about behind his throne nope but I can examine it oh boy Oh no. Oh uh, no. Oh no. All right, well, we've got something to do for next time. So in between now and then, I am going to ditch this weapon because I'm not enjoying it at all. Pick something else, go get my runes, and then we're gonna head down to, uh, I'm guessing more finger ruins because of course we are but that is going to do it for this episode of blue plays elden ring shadow of the earth tree thank you so much for watching hope you're still enjoying and i will see you next time